Today, we have some amazing Canva apps that you're definitely going to want to start using ASAP. If you're not using these Canva apps, you're missing out, bro. Canva is one of those apps that just continues to drop new update after new update. There's actually a lot more coming this year that's going to blow you away. There's a link in the description to try Canva Pro free for 30 days. Let's get right into it. Now, once you're in the app section, you want to go ahead and search for the apps right here in this search box. So now the first one I want to share is actually a Canva update in Dream Lab. And so what we're going to do is go ahead on the left hand side and select a brand. This is going to be your brand kit. Now, if you don't have a brand kit currently, I highly recommend you use it. It's going to make everything and your whole creative process so much easier. All you have to do over here in your brand kit, you'll see you're going to have logos that you can add in addition to your color scheme and palettes and then all the fonts that you want to use. Scrolling down, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and just upload a photo. It could be any photo because this is what we're going to use in dream lab and it's this simple so check this out so say for an example i have one of these photos right here let's go ahead and click on this vertical one of this girl in these neon glasses now select these three dots now i want to show you a actual bonus feature as well click these dots and you're going to notice two things that are very impressive number one i can actually extract the color palette used in any of these photos so check it out let's go down to my new slogan let's ai and actually do just that three dots now i'm going to select extract color palette and now there we have it just like that it's right here it just automatically puts it up in my actual color palette so anytime you have a photo it could be a stock image it doesn't even have to be your own image and you like the color schemes in that image just extract the color palette, it's automatically gonna put it in your brand kit. So now I have all these amazing color palettes. Okay, now back to Dream Lab. Let's go ahead and do this one more time and now simply select any image. Now, three dots again, and now what you wanna do is select a generate from photo right here. Go ahead and click this. Now check this out. Automatically this pop-up box, it's actually a Dream Lab pop-up box. It's going to pop up just like this. Now, just simply type in a prompt of what you want your image to look like. Dream Lab will instantly create it, mimicking this same sort of style. Now, watch this. Let's go ahead and do that. And to start, I'll just go incredibly simple. I'll just put a tiger, just like that. Down here at the bottom, I can also select my aspect ratios, okay? And now, there you have it. Just like that, I get the tiger, and I also get a very similar style. This time, I'm going to select this Sonic the Hedgehog one right here. Let's see if we can get some Something similar in the form of a video game. 3D render video game characters. Let's go ahead and generate this one. Now we're going to get four images all very similar. And now I'll just go ahead and make this very simple. Man standing on the mountain. Let's go ahead and generate this one. Okay, nicely done. And just like that, we get four images. Again, remember, it's taking the existing image and that's why it's going to look more Pixar style 3D render. Now moving on, before we get to the apps, we have one more big update again in Canva. And now this time it's going to be within Magic Media. AI video just got a big upgrade. Now on the left hand side, all you have to do is select magic media. Once magic media populates just like this on the right hand side, select videos. However, you will notice one other thing. In the middle, we have graphics. This is also new. So let's go ahead and try the inspire me just to see what this can do. Hand holding a smartphone minimalist. You could see it's starting a generating process right here. And now just like that, we're going to get four options to choose from. Okay. Now let's go to videos right here. There it is. Now go ahead and select generate video. Now down at the bottom, you can see it's only gonna take about two minutes, so that is not bad at all. Okay, and it looks like our video is done. Here it is on the left-hand side as I hover over it. Wow, I have to tell you, this is pretty impressive. But first, this one is done, and look at what a great job this did. Let me click this one time and bring it in. And now look at this. This did do a much better job than it has done in the past. Let's go ahead and move on to the next app. But this next one is also a very big update, and it's gonna be a custom mock-up template. Now, this one may just be one of my new favorites. Back over here in Canva, again, open up a brand new slate. And what we're gonna do is over here on the left-hand side, we're gonna scroll down until we see mock-ups. Go ahead and now click mock-ups. Now you'll instantly see right up here at the very top, custom, create a mock-up template simply by selecting a photo and then you could turn it into a mock-up template. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and open up Dream Lab and what I'll do is up here in the prompt box, I'm just going to type in a Mac computer on the desk in a modern industrial office. I'll select 16.9. We're then going to use this as our custom mock-up template. 
And so to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna say a Mac computer facing forward green screen on a desk in a modern industrial office. Now let's go ahead and create this one. Now some keywords may be important because you wanna make sure you actually make this easy. So you can just type in green screen and now here we are. Just like that, we're gonna get all these different options. Now what I'll do is on the left hand side, go back into mockups. Okay, so go ahead and click it. Now just like that, select this image. Now on the left hand side, select custom mockup template. Now watch how all Awesome this is going to be automatically it's going to go ahead and assess it and then it's going to give us two choices now the second one no but the first one perfect select it and now select confirm now watch this it's going to go ahead and think and it's going to automatically create a mock-up template for me and then there it is perfect now from here this is what we're going to do let's go into my uploads again or you can go to any actual image okay but i'll go to uploads and now let's just say for an example i want to click and drag this mcdonald's cheeseburger now just drag and hover over the mock-up portion simply let go that's all you have to do and now look instantly it's going to put it right there in my new mock-up okay now moving on let's go ahead and go to the next app now this one is very good this is going to be called dream sound and so what you want to do is go ahead and put it in the search bar it's going to be two words with a space in between sometimes if you do both without a space it might not show up and now here it is dream sound go ahead and select this now it's ai powered sounds for your creative journey okay so all you have to do is just go ahead and type in a sort of a sound effect you want to hear it's ai sound effects automatically on the left hand side you can now input your actual sound prompt and what i'll just say is a loud thunderstorm now as i scroll down let's go ahead and make the duration about two seconds because you're going to get 20 credits but for every one second that's going to consume one credit now in order to listen to it go ahead and just click it in the bottom and now just select this little play button down here at the very bottom this play button appears let's go ahead and listen to it and now just like that we're gonna get our ai sound effects and now the other cool thing about this i went ahead and generated my own but if i select a gallery on the left hand side look at this you're gonna get all of these different things populating so we can get these examples a deep dramatic beam sound a scary and weird sound from space swoosh you can just keep scrolling and scrolling and pick out one of these okay now moving on this is gonna be canvas free logo maker now it's not necessarily new but a lot of people don't even know this exists now here here we are let's go ahead and select start designing a custom logo this, all you have to do is just use four plus words to describe exactly what you're looking for i can also select different styles let's go ahead and select template i'll also go ahead and select just this logo option right here and now you can see we're going to get these other templates right here that we could use so for an example let's go ahead and select this retro vibes one Okay, look at this right here. I can go ahead and use this one and I can also just change my text and have it actually fit me by just typing in like, let's say metrics mule, adjust it to match your brand and your settings. And now just like that, look, now I have this logo retro style for metrics mule, nice job. So if I chose a specific color palette like this, look instantly just by selecting that style, it changed that retro style to now look this more modern and it actually has my ideal color palette. Now let's go to the next one we're going to stay on the logo side right now but this time this is going to be specifically ai generated logos this one is called gen logo so right here in the search bar i'm going to go ahead and type in gen logo just like that and now it populates just like this here we go gen logo design unique logos without much effort using ai now again we're going to test this out yet again and try another similar logo okay for an example i really like this sort of a style right here okay we're going to try something very similar here is a closer look at what this logo looks like let's go back over here into canva and actually paste it in on the left hand side here we go simply select generate let's go ahead and also try this one right here okay i'll go ahead and copy this prompt as well just to really put things to a test so we're going to have this panda one and we're also going to have that one up here of that shoe but let's go back quickly in the canva and look at this this is pretty good look how good that this actual panda one looks right here nicely done and now type in this one of the neon silhouette led outline of the shoe one last thing i do want to try is going to be this apple one right here again 
Go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt. And now we'll go back into Canva and then now try that one. And now, wow, just like that, look how good of a job that this one did. This did a fantastic job. I even love how it added that silhouette and that neon circle around it. With that selected, now just simply select background remover. And now you're gonna have a transparent, beautiful looking logo just like that. And just to make sure it did give us a good transparent logo, look, I can adjust the colors of the background awesome job that this First, did. I, I did forget, I did want to try this last looking logo. And wow, amazing job. Very similar to that neon shoe. Look at this. With the different background color selections, phenomenal job on this one as well. Okay, now moving on to our next app. This one is called Trace to Frame. This one is going to be very helpful. Outline or a point to make frames from images, okay? Let's go ahead and use this one in a new design. So the first thing you have to have is you actually have to have an image already in here. So let's go ahead and search for something. I went ahead and typed in skyscraper, okay? So with that being selected, let's go ahead and find one that's going to be a little bit simple. Because remember, if it's too much to trace, it might not work out that well. With this image selected, let's go ahead and make it a little bit larger just like this. In fact, I'm actually going to change up my aspect ratio just so I can make this fit a little bit better. I'll switch it up to a YouTube thumbnail and resize this design, okay? Now, here we go. Resize this design. This is going to look much better this way. Now, I can make my image much larger and actually trace it a little bit better. Now, with that being said, now let's go ahead and select start tracing, okay? With that selected, all you have to do is actually just start adding your specific points. So there's the first one. I'll put the other one up here at the very top. And now just connect the points and trace them just like this. And now you can even click and drag by adjusting it. That is traced. Now look, as I do that, it's going to show me an effect over here on the left-hand side to where it's going to allow me to choose one or two options. I could either crop as a shape. Look, if I do that and I crop as a shape, it's actually going to create a mask, add to design, and it's actually going to go ahead and look, there it is. If I remove this one for a second, look at this. It went ahead and cropped it, and so now I just have that actual shape. Now, let's choose the effect, add as a frame, okay? That's selected, and now add to design. Look at that. Amazing. Now, I'll go ahead and remove this image, and now look at that. It went ahead and created my tracing to a brand new frame. Okay, so there you have it. Some amazing Canva updates and a few apps. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.